What's up, you guys? This is Mary with HPI, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, <clears throat> welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps inside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the new subscribers and support to my channel. And thanks for the wonderful tweet. You know who you are, sir. I appreciate it so much. Um, I'll put it on the community tab if anybody wants to see the tweet um, that one of my lovely subscribers tweeted on his Twitter. Uh, just you can check it out. All right. So as always, only take the message or messages that resonate with the rest. Love you guys so much. Okay. So um, the channel message I received was um, heavy, heavy moon magic. And I heard signs. Um, I heard that a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Gemini, and a Leo did on you in the past. Um, is about to backfire on them in a huge way. I, already, I heard it already has, but I heard tonight specifically, it's about to backfire on them and the next two weeks. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heavy moon magic. So dark, dark arts, moon magic. Um, secrets of the moon. Um, dark side magic there moon magic i heard specifically moon magic so they were howling at the damn moon or dancing around the moon whatever the hell they were doing with the moon magic i don't know only they know what the hell they were doing with the moon magic but it was dark side dark arts there a cancer a pisces a scorpio a gemini a libra uh, and a leo they can have it can these can be masculine fem energies only they know if they were howling at the moon, dancing at the moon, summoning the dark lords and the dark side spiritual realm there. I've never done dark side, dark arts, moon magic, or anything of that nature of confirmation for my kitty, and I never want to. But somebody out there has. A Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Libra, a Gemini, and a Leo. Masculine or femme, they can have any of those in any of those charts. I heard it's going to backfire specifically tonight. Now he's going off. It's 101 p.m. He hasn't went off all day. Confirmation for my kitty. Um, it's about to severely backfire tonight. So Halloween night, 10, 31, and 2022, and the next two weeks. I heard it already has backfired, but especially tonight in the next two weeks. So you plug it in, how it resonates. These are obviously low vibrational energies, obviously. Um, but their dark arts is dark arts always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. In this aspect, it's about to be a lot. I heard it already has backfired. It's especially going to backfire tonight and the next two weeks. So whoever these people are, masculine or femme, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, uh, Libra, and Leo. The energy has been bringing back. Now, you know, black magic backfires different ways for different people. It either can backfire on the wielder or people surrounding the wielder. Um, how this resonates and applies. That's why I don't converse with anybody but my kids. And that's just the truth. I mean, unless I'm in public doing business with them or something. But I'm just saying. Success, number 34, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34, success. Names and jars have already exploded. More names and jars are about to explode. A significant voodoo doll is about to be decapitated. Oh my God. Whoa. Damn. Okay. A name, name and jars have already exploded. So two or two plus names and jars have already exploded in the universe. Now that's dark arts for anybody that doesn't know. You got somebody name in a jar. You're obviously have negative attentions for them that's dark arts so two or two plus have already exploded in the universe two or two plus are about to explode in the universe and i heard explode i didn't hear just crack i heard explode so i'm feeling like shards of glass and injuries possibly and i've been picking up a lot of that in here recently um and so, uh, something to do with the voodoo doll is about to be decapitated somebody's got a voodoo doll in this mix 
and that's about to be decapitated for many series of chain events. Now, who the hell is about to decapitate it or how it gets decapitated? I don't know. I don't mess with voodoo dolls. But if somebody's got a voodoo doll of somebody, and the damn thing's about to get decapitated. However, it's about to get decapitated. Success of the dark arts about to be destroyed here, and the dark arts about to be um, boomeranging back on these folks. Successful, um, an, I want to say annihilation of dark arts, but it's not really annihilation. Successful uh, boomeranging back energetically of dark arts, basically. Number 34 could be a very significant number. Number 34. Spirit messages you have with String. Spirit messages you have with One of these people is about to get stalked tonight. Literally stalked. It's about to scare the hell out of them. One of these people is about to get stalked tonight. So Halloween night, 1031 of 2022. One of these uh, dark arts, former dark arts wielders or current dark art wielders, however that resonates, heard they're about to get stalked tonight. Stalked. So like stalked. I heard it's about to uh, scare the hell out of them. Uh, uh, I wonder if they call the police. Number two or 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number two or 32. It could be a possible age of viewers. Somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Two or 32. Okay, so... The Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Leo that was doing all this dark arts in the past. Um, a seance of 2021 is very significant in this. Someone needs to hear this. A seance of 2021 is very significant in this, and someone needs to hear this. So I'm assuming these dark arts individuals that did all this shit. But somehow a seance of 2021 is very significant in this. So uh, somebody in this mix performed a seance in 2021. Um, but somebody in this mix is about to get stalked tonight, Halloween night. So how that resonates? I think they're about to have uh, strength um, because their ass is about to get stalked. That's for one of these people. Truth's about to come out. They're about, ass about to get stalked or truth's about to come out about the names and jars already being exploded in the universe or the names and jars about to explode in the universe and a voodoo doll is about to be decapitated. Damn. And one of these people, their car is about to just quit working. It's just about quit working. Vehicle, car and vehicle. So it sounds like at least two people. I heard one of these people, but it sounds like at least it's going to be two. Um, car going to quit working and a vehicle going to quit working. So a car or a vehicle just going to quit working, just out of the blue. Check engine light. Check engine light. Car or the vehicle is going to quit working. It sounds like it hasn't yet, but it's about to. The car or the vehicle is going to just quit working. Some kind of check engine light. So engine issues, possibly. Um, however that resonates and applies, it sounds like the car, is just, uh, car or the vehicle is just going to die. It sounds like at least two of these people. Um, some kind of check engine light. Truth's about to come out about the vehicle or the car about not to quit working. With the check engine light, it sounds like about to come on. They're about to have strength because their vehicle or their car is about not to work. And one of them is about to have strength because their ass is about to get stalled. That's, oh, Lord, that's scary. Confirmation again for my kitty.
And for one, they're going to get a very significant phone call from a grandparent tonight. Very significant phone call. Got to come get the kids. For some kids up. Because the grandparent has chaos in their own life. Okay. And some kind of very, okay, there's at least two of them. One is kid, one kid, one is two or two plus kids. Um, a very significant phone call is about to happen from a grandparent tonight. So a masculine or femme grandparent, uh, it could be their parent or uh, the baby's parent, however that resonates, or child's parent. Um, the, uh, the grandparent about to call them, I'm presuming, is about to have so much chaos in their own life. So they're going to have to come get the kid or kids tonight. Well, it's Halloween. So I don't know why they, obviously they're not being a good parent and taking their kid or kids out trick-or-treating. They've got them carting them over to the grandparent. So the grandparent is about to have huge chaos, about to get a phone call from the grandparent because they're about to have huge chaos in their own life, whether it's one kid or two or two plus kids, they're about to have to come get the kids. So I feel for some, they might be going to um, some kind of Halloween, like a sexy Halloween party or something, um, but their plans are about to get crushed. They should be taking their kids out trick-or-treating but instead their plans are about to get interrupted they're about to have strength because truths come out about the grandparent or grandparents about to have chaos in their own life you plug it in how it resonates all right i'm closing this out love you guys so much namaste